In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Never demean the erring. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things. Matthew 12, verse 35. Never treat those with whom you work as unfaithful unless you have unmistakable evidence that they are unfaithful. And even when a worker's unfaithfulness is clearly proved, you are not to deal with him in a manner that will give him excuse for saying you were harsh. You are to do nothing that will provoke the erring to anger. Do not bear down on believers or unbelievers in a way that arouses the worst feelings of the heart. Do not make charges that may be cruelly unjust. By such a course, you may drive souls to perdition. In your work, you are to reveal the sympathy of Christ. Your words are to be an expression of His sympathy. You are to speak the language of Canaan. You are no more of the world. You have come out from the world, and you are to be separate from its methods and practices. In word and action, you are to reveal God's purposes of love. You are always to treat your fellow workers with respect. He who is serving in Christ's stead is only doing his duty when he manifests to all connected with him the graces of the Spirit of God. Not a word of scolding or anger is to be heard, because such words dishonor Christ and reapproach the name of Christian. It is a part of the duty of the one who is in service as a director to learn how to control himself. The Lord Jesus has chosen human beings as his instruments. They are to carry out his purposes. His death on the cross of Calvary was the climax of his humiliation. His work as a Redeemer is beyond finite conception. Only those who have died to self, whose lives are hid with Christ in God, can have any conception of the completeness of the offering made to save the fallen race. In the daily life, we are to follow Christ's example. Then into the religious life will come the peace that passes understanding. We are not to engage in any employment or enterprise to gain the praise or honor of men. We are not to speak one word or do one action that will lower in the minds of others the ideal they have of the one who died a death of the shame of the cross that he might purchase the privilege of saving his enemies.